ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಸದಾಶಿವ ಸಮಾರಂಭಂ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮಾಂ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾತ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಪಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುದಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಋಕಾರಸ್ವಂಧಕಾರೋ ವೈ ಋಕಾರಸ್ತನ್ನಿವರ್ತಕ ಅಂಧಕಾರ ನಿರೋಧಿತ್ವಾತ್ಗುರುರಿತ್ಯವಿಧೀಯತೆ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಗರವಾವಹಿ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಭದ್ರಂಗರ್ಣೇ ಬಿಶ್ರಣಿಯಾಮ ದೇವಾ ಭದ್ರಂ ಪಶ್ಯೇ ಮಾಕ್ಷಭಿರ್ವಿಜತ್ರ ಸ್ಥಿರೈರಂಗೈ ಸ್ತುಷ್ಟು ವಾಗುಂಸಸ್ತನೋಭಿ ಕ್ಷೇಮ ದೇವಹಿ ತಂಜದಾಯು ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿನ ಇಂದ್ರೋ ವೃದ್ಧಶ್ರವಾ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿನ ಪೂಷಾ ವಿಶ್ವೇದ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿನ ಸ್ತಾರ್ಕ್ಷ್ಯೋ ಅರಿಷ್ಟನೇಮಿ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ನೋ ಬೃಹಸ್ಪತಿರ್ದಾತು ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಂಶು ಪ್ರತಾನೈ ಸ್ಥಿರಚರ ನಿಕರ ವ್ಯಾಪಿಭಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯ ಲೋಕಾನ್ ಭುಕ್ತ ಭೋಗಾನ್ ಸ್ತವಿಷ್ಟಾನ್ ಪುನರಪಿ ದಶನೋದ್ಭಾಸಿತಾನ್ ಕಾಮಜನ್ಯಾನ್ ಪೀತ್ವ ಸರ್ವಾನ್ ವಿಶೇಷಾನ್ ಸ್ವಪಿತಿ ಮಧುರಭುಂ ಮಾಯೆಯ ಭೋಜಯನ್ ನಃ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಖ್ಯಾ ತುರೀಯಂ ಪರಮೃತಮಜ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಯತ್ತನ್ನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಭಾವೈರಸದ್ಭಿರೇವಾಯ ಅದ್ವಯೇನ ಚ ಕಲ್ಪಿತ ಭಾವ ಅಪಿ ಅದ್ವಯೇನೈವ ತಸ್ಮದ್ವಯತ ಶಿವ ಅದ್ವಯತ ಶಿವ ಶಿವ ಈಸ್ ಅಭಯ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಯು ರೆಫ್ಯೂಜ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಭಯ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸಂಸಾರ ಏವ ಭಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಸಂಸಾರಿತ್ವ ಮೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಗ್ನೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಈಟ್ ಅನ್ ಅವೇ ಬೈ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಬೈ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಮಚ್ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ದನ್ ಯು ಸೊ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫಿಯರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದಿ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ದೇಹಾತ್ಮ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಭಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದ್ವಯತ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸಂಸಾರಿತ್ವಂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಭಯ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೆಫ್ಯೂಜ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೆಫ್ಯೂಜ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸಂಸಾರಿತ್ವಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಭಯ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಏವ ಶಿವ ಅಂಡ್ ಭಾಷೆಕರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೆಡ್ ಈವನ್ when you are in kalpana avastha te cha api pranadi bhavaha advayena eva sata atmana vikalpitaha nahi niraspadaha kaschit kalpana upabadyate so even though there is a kalpita jagat but that kalpita jagat is non separate non different from the swarupa so you don't need to suspend vyavahara so there is no need for manonasha or you know there is a, um the sams the jagannasha or anything like that okay so you don't have to suspend your your mind or thoughts in order for you to be atma vastu even when there is kalpana kalpita jagat nahi niraspada kaschit Kalpana upabadyate. Even when the Kalpana is going on, the Kalpana cannot be 
on something which doesn't have a foundation. It has to stand on something else. So even for a magician to do magic, he needs things. He can't pluck it out of thin air. Even though it appears that he is plucking it out of thin air, but he needs to have his upakarana in order to create the magic. So there has to be an aspada for any kalpana. At the minimum, there should be a person who is doing the kalpana. Therefore, kalpitam jagat cannot be niraspada. Ataha sarva kalpana aspadatvate svena atmana advayasya avyabhijarat. The advaya vastu cannot be, cannot leave you out. If it cannot leave you out, then you are advaya. Sarva vikalpana aspadatva. Sarva vikalpana, including your body, mind, sense, complex and the world that you are perceiving. The aspada of that being advaya. That advaya cannot leave out your atma. Therefore, your atma has to be that advaya vastu. Sarva kalpana aspadatva. Svena atmana advaya syavya vijarat. Kalpana avasthayamapi advaya dashiva. For even a person who hasn't still gained this jnana, for whom the kalpana is real, even for that person, the Shiva is only from the Suruva. And for somebody who has gained this knowledge, anyway when the transaction of the world is going on, at that time also, Advaita Eva Shiva, Kalpana Eva to Ashiva. So only the part which is kalpitam, the adhyasikam, jagat. The superimposed is what is ashiva, which is anyway untrue, which is mithya. The mithya bhuta jagat only ashiva. So if you take it as real, it becomes ashiva for you. Otherwise, there is nothing ashiva. All that is there is only shiva. Raju sarpadivati trasa adhikari nyohi taha. So trasa fear. Fear comes from the rope. The rope is not the reason for the fear. But you are seeing snake on the rope is the reason for the fear. So you can in a way say that it is the Raju which created that fear in you. But actually it is not the Raju which has created the fear in you. Therefore, this Jagat seemed to create this fear, Bhaya. But if you actually see, it is only your ignorance of what this Jagat's true Swarupa is, which is the cause of fear. Therefore, Raju Sarpa Divate, Trasa Adhikari Nyaha, Ashiva Kalpana Eva. Kalpana Avastayam, the Kalpana Eva Shiva. Only the superimposed aspect which is making it a fearful thing is what we have seen. Let's move. Natma bhave na nane dam na sve na pika tanjana na pratang na pratak kinchite iti tatva vido viduhu na atma bhave na nana idam sve na api na nana idam katanjana na pratak na pratak kinchite iti tatva vidaha viduhu So, Bhashikara gives, so we'll just see a simple meaning. Atma Bhavena na nana idam. By itself, being from the reference standpoint of what is the Atma for all this, if you look at it from Atma Vastu perspective, they are, there is no nana atvam because there is only one Vastu. Na Svena api katanjana. Okay, by itself also, these things don't have an atmatvam or existence. Okay, because they see they always have a dependent existence. We will see in the Bhashya. And they are not Prithak. They are not like individual entities. So there is a towel, there is a person, there is a cup. Okay, it doesn't work like that. If you see all this, where is the Prithaktvam? So the Prithaktvam also is superimposed only. At the same time, they are also not apritak, like they are not one block of things. So there is a separation 
tangible separation but there is no real it's an apparent separation between objects but then the satta and spurti for the objects come from your surupa therefore there is no prithakto so there is no aprithak there is no prithak also iti tattva vido viduhu so all this see nasad tan nasad uchyade in gita it says right because it's all from a standpoint only all of this the neti neti when you say again you cannot be categorical about any of this even brahma vastu you cannot cat it's only the astitvam the astitvam alone is the swarupa now how do you categorically say again astitvam but then you have to with reference to nastitvam you have to put astitvam there okay so everything is in the form of our thinking is in the form of duals that is why both are negated okay in order for you to say this is white there should be a non white also i have we have already discussed in some class earlier right therefore the the idea of color implies there is more than one right so anyway so that that is why this nasattan nasaduchyate are here also the prithak aprithak so it yeah, basically it is taking you above these concepts of duality then only you can recognize what the swarupa is so bashikara gives the connection kutascha advayata shiva how does advayata become the abhaya or shiva in that context this verse is said in the karika nana bhutam pratakvam anyasya anyasmat yatra drishtam tatra shivam bhavet where what is ashivam the pratakvam only is the reason for ashivam or bhaya udara mantram krute atadasya bhayam bhavati it is the same thing so any small thing becomes a cause for fear right it is seen as small but it grows into a reason for fear like these days you know all our politicians say right so they don't let somebody grow because after a certain stage if the person becomes big then they become threat for themselves so they always want to you know keep the others under some control they they don't want like any other politician to gain a stature which is as good i mean i'm generally saying not talking about any particular politician or anything but that is a that is a tendency right so that is so uh, the stature of something you can't say this is small so therefore it is not a cause of fear this is big it's not a cause everything becomes a cause of fear like in bajagovindam ಅರ್ಥಮನರ್ಥಮ in bajagavindam it is said right putra adapi dhanavajam bhiti from this from one's own son there is fear okay so this fear is not about you know how big or how small prithaktvam is a cause of fear that's it anything which is separate from you at one point becomes a cause of fear okay so there and of course there there are so many prithak items in the world is innumerable the size of what is there and the more powerful things that is there in the world is mind boggling right your own existence this body itself is so minuscule and uh, anything can happen right do we have no control on an earthquake on a tsunami on even a building falling down anything can happen the planet movements uh, what control we have right so yeah. so there is that fear also the being insignificant is also a source of fear okay so anyasya anyasmat nana bhutam prithaktvam tatra ashivam bhayat ashivam we are taking it as bhayam right because uh, shivam is abhayam so it was 
told. Therefore, if you look at it as a reason for fear, right? Actually, Ashivam is samsara. The entire samsara is Ashivam. So, samsaritvam is due to Pratattvam. Nanabhuta Pratattvam only, right? So, I have this, I don't have this, I need to get this. All this is samsaritvam, the wanting me. Okay, the unsatisfied me, unhappy me, right? All the time wanting, wanting, wanting. I want something in order for me to be comfortable. So that wantingness implies that I have a feeling that I am incomplete without certain things. Or I am incomplete being in possession of some things which I don't want to have, right? Therefore, all this is <clears throat> Dukkha Hetu, Samsaritvam. So, I am not saying you shouldn't pursue things which are necessary. But the pursuit, if it is purely in terms of, you know, uh, your role in the spoke, as a spoke in the wheel, right? As a, You need to do something, so you need to gain something for you to, you know, keep moving, then you do. As a Ishwara, Arpana, Buddhi, that is a different thing. That is Karma Yoga then. But, the fact that I am pursuing things because I am incomplete without them makes it complicated, right? Why is it complicated? Because then it leads to guilt and hurt. There is dharma, dharma. Then you will cut corners because you are, sometimes you get into pressure of not getting things that you wanted. It's there with everybody. Whoever is a samsari has this problem. On one, see, in certain things you may be dharmika, but in certain things you are not. All of us are, right? That is because it all depends on how desperately we all need certain things. That is where we cut corners because we feel so pressurized not having certain things. So I, I definitely need to get this promotion, okay? So how do I, you know, make that happen? Then if I am obstructed by certain things, then I transgress. If I am so, so you know, under compulsion to, to get promotion, right? So, we can call it as, you know, tactics or corporate, whatever, right? But eventually, it is nothing but, but your own inner pressure. Right? You need an... Uh, and why do you have that pressure? Because, again, it is a self-image acceptance. So, you, you feel that you are, you want more acceptability in the society, in your group. Otherwise, you feel not accepted. See, there could be umpteen psychological reasons why uh, you are moving towards a certain behavior, right? The pressure could be purely because self-non-acceptance, right? You you think you want, you want to be accepted by others. You want to be more acceptable, right? So, again, so that is because you are not acceptable to yourself. So then you are seeking acceptance all the time, right? And, and that leads to an internal pressure. This is all that the base. So you can you can keep on solving one of these one one after another these psychological issues. But what is the underneath underlying cause of all this is the pratattvam. Only if the pratattvam issue is solved, then all these other things don't matter. Right? They won't even come into picture. That is why it is called the root cause, the samsara moolam. So that, that's why Bhashikar often uses Nirmulam Samsara Nivrittihi. So Unmulanaya, all those kind of terms used, right? Because taking it from the root itself, right? The moment the root is taken out, that's when it won't come back again. So that what is the root of all this is your Surupa Jnana. And that goes away only through jnana. Therefore, the root of it is pritaktvam. This ajnanam is what pritaktvam only. The nanabhuta pritaktvam is avidya. I am separate from everything else in swarupa. Not that in perception, right? The, the, you can still, you still perceive a sun and moon even after the jnana. But you know that there is non-difference. That is jnana, right? So that, that is what is the nana bhuta pratakvam. Now to understand whether there is a pratakvam or not is this vichara. Right? Nana bhutam pratakvam anyasya anyasmat yatra drishtam tatra ashivam bhavet. 
when you see this nanatvam as a reality then samsara is there on samsara is there it is bhayam only therefore ashivam bhavet nahi atra advaye paramartha satya atmani pranadi samsara jatam idam jagat atma bhavena paramartha swarupena nirupyamanam nanavastvantra bhutam bhavati so once the atma vastu is known okay pra ಆತ್ಮ ಭಾವೇನ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಸ್ವರೂಪೇಣ ನಿರೂಪ್ಯಮಾನ ಸತ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೀನ್ ಎಸ್ ಡುವಲ್ ಓಕೆ ದ ಪ್ರಾಣಾದಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಜಾತ ಇದಂ ದ ಪ್ರಾಣ ದೇಹ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಸೀನ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಏವ ಆತ್ಮ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ many things right the prana is atma mana is atma then you have deha is atma or anu is atma or kshanika uh, vijnanam the flicker of consciousness is an atma like that there are many theories of what it is because some people don't understand what atma vastu is so therefore all these things ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಾದಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಜಾತ ಇದಂ ಜಗತ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಭಾವೇನ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಸೋ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರಿಯಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿ ಪರಮಾ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಆತ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಇಸ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಬಟ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ prana similarly mana is atma but atma is not atma is not any one of those all of them are non separate from atma because when you say there is a prana the astitvam of prana is not different from the astitvam of asmi the swarupa the prana ha asti suppose you say that asti and aham asmi in what is what obtains what lends the astitvam is your swarupa angi similarly prana ha bhati if you say the banam also is your swarupa banam angi how does it illuminate through your consciousness angi when you say there is cup okay this cup asti the astitvam of the cup is only from the atma vastu there is no other astitvam because the cup doesn't exist without it being evident to you only your your swatma only is self evident everything else is only evident to you okay therefore the astitvam and banatvam asti bhati for the prana or the manas or the deha or whatever beyond all that right which is like the uh, the pancha bhutas and the whole jagat tangible jagat once it is seen atma bhavena paramartha swarupena if once you see it is all as only atma there is no other thing there is only one asti that's it that satta only is there and that lends everything else is superimposed on that satta because that satta only exists right everything else is name and form it is there is a form for which there is a name that's all so when you say that towel exists there is a towel form that you see and a name called sat towel but you see what it is the satta comes from your swarupa only therefore there is only satta eva atma bhavena paramartha swarupena nirupyamanam once this is known this is seen there is no vastu antram because when once there is only satta then there is no there is a cup form there is a cup name there is a towel form there is a towel name but there is no vastu there are no individual vastu because vastu means the astitva must be there so therefore vastu antra bhutam na bhavati there is no different vastu there is only one thing ನಹಿ ಅತ್ರ ಅದ್ವಯೆ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥ ಸತಿ ಆತ್ಮನಿ ಪ್ರಾಣಾದಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಜಾತ ಇದಂ ಜಗತ್ 
பரமா ஆத்மபாவேன பரமார்த்த ரூபேண நிர் நிரூப்பியமானம் நானாவஸ்து அந்தர பூதம் பவதி சோ தெர் இஸ் ஒன்லி ஒன் பரமார்த்த சத்திய ஆத்மா தெர் இஸ் இட்ஸ் நாட் தட் ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் செப்பரேட்லி தேர் இன் திஸ் ஆத்மா இட்ஸ் நாட் லைக் விசிஷ்ட அத்வயம் விசிஷ்டாத்வைத்தம் சேஸ் ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் தேர் பட் ஆஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் ஒன் ஹோல் okay but then they have their own reality in a sense they are individual entities but collectively in a body with chit jada beda and all but this collectively if we have to say then individual existence has to be established where can you establish other than the name and form the astitvam of them is not establishable because it's always dependent on your surupas to be there for them to be uh, uh, be an existent object okay the satta spurti is given by your swarupa yatha rajju swarupena prakashena nirupyamanaha na nana bhuta kalpita sarposti tadvate he gives the how it is rajju swarupena prakashena prakasha means a light torch light so the rajju was seen as sarpadaradi because of lack of proper uh, illumination because there was lack of proper illumination the rajju looked seemed to you like a sarpa and danda or whatever the moment a light has come a torch light is brought in immediately rajju reveals itself nobody has to teach you that it is rajju see i told you it is a no it by itself is evident likewise this prakasha here is pramana shastra janya gnanam in shastra you expose yourself to shastra where like you expose that place to light then the rajju is seen similarly bring yourself to the shastra shravana automatically the self evident atma can is recognized that's why acharya van purusho veda the moment you are brought to this gnanam the knowledge should take place okay but you will ask no 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 so many years i have been listening but uh, this gnanam has in taken place how are you saying that it will take place so for that only in the next verse he is going to say vitaraga bhayakrodaihi munibihi vedaparagihi நிர்விகல்போகியம் திருஷ்டிஜோபோயாஷ்டிஸ்ட்டிஸ்ட்டிஸ்ட்டிஸ்ட்டிஸ்ட்டிஸ்ட்டிஸ்ட்டிஸ்ட்டிஸ்ட்
then that can that also is not the cause why the jnanam is not taking place then the other thing is the pramata can have the dosha so there is no prameya dosha there is no dosha in brahman right prameya there is no dosha pramana there is no dosha and pramana includes guru also it's not that's why guru shastra vakyeshu shraddha is what guru vishwasah shraddha is what is said so the shastra and guru go together both are together only is a pramana shastra alone we do we say shastra is pramana it means shastra sampradaya included sampradaya means guru otherwise uh, sh- anybody can read from book and can gain gnanam right then that doesn't work like that and you can listen to somebody who doesn't do a proper sampradaya you know person is not through sampradaya the prakriyas are not handled properly then also gnanam won't take that's a pramana dosha so that is another possibility but if the guru and shastra are together or through a sampradaya then that there is no dosha in pramana also there is no prameya dosha also because brahma vastu doesn't have a dosha then only possibility is pramata has some obstruction which is purely in one's own mind okay either the person has does still doesn't have the ability to see the truth or is obstructed through some emotional disturbances clinging on to identity and all that stuff so that is raga dvesha so raga vidikita raga bhaya krodaihi vita raga bhaya krodaihi like that so these are emotional or whatever there can be any kind of thing right psychological disturbances or the lack of clarity or commitment you know the emotional clinging anything can be the reason so but otherwise if these are taken care then the pramata doesn't have any kind of obstruction then <clears throat> prakashena nirupyamanaha then through the gnanam through the pramana once it is shown just like द रज्जुस्वेण न नानाभूत कल सर्प अस्त दर् इज नो सर्प आर् दंड आर् एनिथिंग इन दि रज्जु इट वाज नेवर देर इट डज गो वे इट वाज नेवर देर ओनली युअर इग्नर बिकॉज ऑफ लैक ऑफ इलिमेशन अबउट द रोप इज रिमूव सिमिलरली हियर आलो द परमार्थ वस्तु is recognized then there is no prana or samsara anything in your understanding of brahma vastu there is no prana or samsara like suppose you understand that the whole ocean is nothing but water and water swarupa is h2o now your recognition of water swarupa is just that it is h2o that's all you don't recognize wave big wave small wave okay all those things the, there is no waveness in your understanding of water as h2o so this whole samsara is like a wave and the the satta spurti which is your atma vastu is like the water h2o okay water atma is water then your satta sat swarupa is the understanding right atma is sate that is like your h2o so and the whole samsara is like the waves so the moment you recognize there is no waves you don't see any wave right all that is there is only h2o in the entire ocean similarly all that is there is only satta there is nothing else therefore it is ananta swarupa everything is only satta नापिस्वेन प्राणादि आत्मना इदं विद्यते कदाचिदपि सो प्राण मनः बुद्धि अहंकार चित्त देह एवरीथिंग राइट एंड ऑल द तत्वस आउटसाइड पंचभूत एंड ऑल दैट न स्वेन विद्यते they don't exist on their own 
okay if it has to exist on their own it should need your astibati for their existence but that is not the case you can you can never establish them to be separately existing because for that to even establish your presence has to be there because that surupa is lent by your own surupa therefore there is no independent existence napi swena prana dhyatmana idam vidyate kadachit api rajju sarpavat kalpitatva deva they they are superimposed tata anyonyam na prithak prana divastu yata ashvat mahishah prithak vidyate evam can we say each one is separate even though they are brahman so this is taval brahman that is kap brahman and i am an individual brahman that is a space brahman so everything has an atma individual atma like the sankhya says so everything has an atma has an existence and can there be a prithakvam okay like ashvat mahishah prithak from a horse a yeah, buffalo is separate similarly can everything can be separate right so one each one so has its own independent existence can we say now the question is when you say ashwa what is an ashwa a horse horse is a thing which has horseness that is a horse right ashwatvam and what is it that has the ashwatvam what has the horseness is it a horse which has horseness and a non horse which has horseness a horse cannot have if it is already a horse and horseness is on it as an attribute okay then that horse okay what makes it a horse then you need to say another horseness only so then a horse has a horseness and that has another harshness so it will keep on going so anavastha dosha will come therefore you have to say the non harsh only should have harshness and that non harsh is it identifiable by an attribute to say what it is if it is with an attribute then that attributed entity okay for it that attribute sits on another similar thing just like horseness sits on a horse this another attributed entity sits on another similar thing again anavastha will come so you have to say that attribute also is not in the swarupa therefore any attribute can be only a superimposition on a nirvishesha entity okay savishesha entity cannot have a superimposition of another savishesha and because that saviseshatvam that visesha also cannot be on another visesha. so if you are keep on going on with visesha visesha saviseshya entity to saviseshya entity to saviseshya entity then it becomes an anavastha therefore saviseshya viseshanam has to be a superimposition on a nirvisesha entity only one as a mithya bhutam so if ashvatvam the arsness is on a nirvishesha the mahishatvam is also on a nirvishesha can there be a difference between one nirvishesha and another nirvishesha so you can't separate a nirvishesha can't be separated from another nirvishesha because how do you how do you distinguish only through a visheshana you can distinguish therefore everything is supported by the same nirvishesha vastu and the visheshanam is only superimposition so ashvatvam mahishatvam and all that cannot be true its the ashvatvam and mahishatvam is only superimposed on nirvishesham brahma therefore tatha anyonyam na prithak prana adi vastu all these entities that you see cannot be prithak individual ataha asatvat naapi aprithak vidyate anyonyam parena va kinchiditi evam paramartha tattva vidha brahmana viduhu therefore ataha asatvat it is asat so because it is asat 
you can't it is apritak also it is not separate non separate but it doesn't exist as one big non real entity na naapi apritak vidyate there is an anyonyatvam also is there from a nama roopa perspective okay the asad things we can't say that everything is just one mass right there is still an ashvatvam there is still a mahishatvam there is still a pustakatvam as a nama roopa which is evidently seen as a mithya asatva roopena they are prithak but swarupena they are aprithak okay therefore you need to recognize like that anyonyam parena va kinchiditi evam paramartha tattva vidaha brahmanaha vidu so jnani brahmana means these are jnanis brahma jnanena brahmanaha we say right the brahma jnani see the paramartha tattva that's why he qualifies paramartha tattva vidaha as brahmanaha paramartha tattva the ultimate truth okay what is really there so once you are, you do a vichara what finally stands which can never be dismissed that is paramartha tattva that tattva which doesn't get eliminated by any further vichara because rest all go away once you start doing vichara everything keeps going away once you hit that swarupa it cannot be further satta eva if you go into that then there is it cannot be dismissed that which is not dismissible is paramartha tattva the one who recognizes who, who knows this is paramartha tattva vidaha brahmanaha evam viduhu this is how they recognize understand ataha ashiva hetutva bhavat advaita eva shiva iti abhiprayah therefore karika so bhashyakara concludes saying that is why karika kara is saying advaita shiva because nanatva prapancha is not there nanatva prapancha is a reason for bhaya ashivatvam therefore this jnanam this swarupa removes that therefore it is shiva vitaraga bhaya krodaihi muni bhir vedaparagaihi nirvikalpo khyayam drishtaha prapancho pashamo dvaya tadetate samyak darshanam stuyate bhashyakara introduces this samyak darshanam samyak means well understood right comprehensively properly understood or seen darshanam understood is a concept generally when we say understanding your mind gets into concept right atma gnanam is not a conceptual understanding it's not like okay i recognize that sun you know is is a, is not a tangible object but happens due to energy fusions fusion energy and it is you know some atomic activity molecular activity which is emitting heat that is what is seen as the sun suppose somebody teaches you this and you conceptually understand that is what generally we think as the understanding so the brahma gnanam is not a conceptual understanding it is because it's your own swarupa you need to see the fact that's why it is called a cognitive understand swami ji puja swami ji use the word cognitive yeah cognitive knowledge okay it's a recognition is so see you can't say it is seeing darshanam because you are not objectifying it if you objectify then you can say it is seen okay it is neither a conceptual knowledge right which is more you know you understand how possibly it is right that is a conceptual knowledge but here it is neither objectified knowledge nor a concept knowledge but being your own swarupa it's a cognitive knowledge and that's why it is it's a kind of recognition is what you can say okay that's why it is called as cognitive knowledge tadetat samyak darshanam stuyate that is a samyak darshana one who has no you know or very minimal 
coloring of this jnana. Okay, Samyak Darshana. It's comprehensively seen, properly seen. There is no more confusion. There is no more, you know, disturbance to this jnana, hindrance to it. Okay, fully clear. That is Samyak Darshanam. Stuyate Stotra. It is praised. It's actually not praised. It is shown. Who does it? Okay, here. Vidaraga Bhayakrodehi, Munibihi, Vedaparagaihi. So these are qualifications. Like we said, if there is a hindrance to this jnanam, we need to explain why that is, right? So it is a pramata. Pramata problem. Okay. So it is not a pramana issue or prameya issue, but pramata issue. Pramata issue is in the psychological and emotional and mental makeup. Which is here, Raga, Bhaya, Krodha, all these things are representative of what could be. Yeah. Some of the reasons why you are not able to recognize it. That is what is Mala. Okay. Nirmalam and all that we used, right? Nirmalatvam. Nirmala Buddhi, Nirmala Antakaram. Then, because we need to clearly understand. Otherwise, we will all get into this guilt trip. I have. Nirmalatvam in my mind. I am not an Adhikari. I have been learning for so long. There is not enough Adhikaritam. I keep getting anger. That's why I am not getting Jnana. So, it's not to say, you know, it is not to uh, create that kind of a guilt or put down, you know, the people who are still not gaining this Jnana, right? That is not the intent. It is just to recognize what are the hindrances? So then you can work on it, right? That's what it is. Vita Raga, Vigata, Raga Bhaya, Krodha Adi, Sarva Doshaihi. Okay, all the Adi, that's why Adi Pada is there. It can be anything. It, you may not have Raga Bhaya, Krodha. It could be anything else also. But generally, this Raga Dvesha is where it all starts. Even Bhaya, Krodha also is part of your Raga Dvesha only. Sarva doshaihi, sarvada munibihi. Okay. Munibihi, manana shilaihi. Muni manana shila. Okay. Munibihi by them, by the people who are given to this pursuit. Viveki bihi. Okay. The person has to be fully committed. Okay. And who is doing vichara and who is able to discriminate between what is. Nitya, what is Anitya, what is right and wrong? Okay, what is my goal? How do I pursue all these things? That is Viveki Bihi, Veda Paragaihi, who has lived a life of Dharma. Veda Paraga means the one who has crossed, Para means to just reach the other shore of Veda. Means the person has already lived a life of Vedic Dharma. And see, the Veda Paraga means not. Not dropping Veda doesn't mean that. Avagata Veda Artha Veda Antha Artha Tattvai Hi Jnani Bihi. So Vashigara says Veda Antha Artha Tattvai Hi Tattvai Jnani Hi. But also the person gets to Veda Antha after crossing the Vedic, the Dharmika life. Right? There is a, therefore we say Iha Janmani Janma Antareva. We all, we all haven't gone through the Vedic life in the sense like, Generally, in those days, people do a Veda Adhyayana and then a life of Vedic life, whether it's, uh, you know, any Kshatriya or Vaishya or whoever. So the Veda-driven lifestyle was there. And through that, the person gains Viveka Vairagya and Adhikaritvam and reaches Vedanta. Okay, once the person is qualified, Shamadhi Shakti Sambhati and all that, this this uh, fourfold qualification, Sadhana Jadushte Sampath, once a person gains, the person is uh, seen qualified. That is a Veda Paraga. Such Veda Paraga, he, Avagata Veda Antartha Tattvai, he, Jnani Bihi. Okay, the, so they are as much a Jnani. Okay. Because they have reached Vedanta and they have gained that Jnana. Nirvikalpaha sarva vikalpa shunyaha yam. 
Atma Drishtaha. So this Atma is seen earlier. Previous verse it says Viduhu. That is Kartri Prayoga. Here Drishtaha is Karmani Prayoga. In Shastra, generally because the seer and seen are both uh, Brahman, often it is done like that. In one verse, you use Katri Prayoga to say that the person sees Brahman. And another verse, it says the Brahman is seen. So it's both the same. The seer is also Brahman, seen is also Brahman here, right? So there, Viduhu here, Drishtaha, Atma Drishtaha, by whom these people. Avagata Vedantartaha, for these people, it is seen what kind of Brahman, Nirvikalpaha, Sarva Vikalpa Shunyaha, and it is Ayamatma. Why? It is Nitya Paroksha Atma. Therefore, this Ayam is used always. Okay, Ayam means what? It is intimately known. Okay, only for something which is already in your mind as. This Atma means what? It has to be there closest to you. Then only I am you are using. Okay. Sunyaha, I am Atma, Drishtaha, Sarva Vikalpa Sunyaha, as described in the previous verse. Nirvikalpaha, there is no Pritaktvam. Drishtaha, Upalabdaha, Vedantartha, Tatparaihi. Vedantartha, Eva, Tatparaha, Yasya. Okay. For whom? Vedantartha only is the commitment, an emotional commitment. Yeah. You should enjoy. You should have, like you are emotionally committed to different things in life. Eventually, this jnanam, this atma should become, an, the pursuit of knowing atma becomes an emotional commitment to you. So, in Sadhana Chatushtya Sampat, all the Shamadhi, Satka, Sampatthi, Pitiksha, all these things are said as, you know, things which, as qualifications. And then, Mumukshutvam, Moktum Icha is said. Your desire to know. Because you have to choose to know and stay committed. If you have to stay committed, then you should want, you should have a longing for it. There should be an emotional commitment towards it. That is what is meant by Vedantartha Tatparaihi. Right? Vyavasayatnika buddhi. The person has already determined that moksha is what I need and everything else is not the true pursuit. Once that is there, then he should be emotionally committed. You should want to know. And that want to gain moksha. That is mumukshutam. Then that becomes jignasa, jnatu micha. That also is an emotional thing. It is jnanam which I am seeking. Okay, because jnana neva kaivalyam is understood. Then that also becomes an... So you start enjoying this whole pursuit because it's something that you are emotionally committed to. Then only this jnanam can take place. It's not like I have nothing else to do. I am retired. Let me also study some Vedanta, won't work. I mean, you can be a retired, you need not be, that's not the point. The point is, the, there should be emotional commitment to know, right? So that is a Vedanta Artha Tatparaihi Prapancho Pashamaha Advaya Prapanchaha Dvaita Veda Vistaraha Tasya Upashamaha Prapancha is Samsara actually. Okay. Anyway, this Dvaita. Veda Vistaraha, all this Pritaktvam, Nanatvam, Tasya Upashamaha. Upashamaha means what? It doesn't result like it's not Manonasha. We need to be very clear, right? It's not like, see, Nirvigalpa Samadhi, if you gain the moment for some time, half an hour, you are with Brahman, and you come back, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't uh, give you the jnana. Even though, this uh, in Bhamati, it is said it is the Nididhyasana which gives you jnanam, Shravana only gives you Aparoksha jnanam and all that, but that is more after gaining the jnana. Okay. 
but you know some people think going to nirvikalpa samadhi is the is the cause for even without gaining jnanam see nirvikalpa samadhi is can be gained through ashtanga yoga also right but it can't be a means to jnanam so here prapanchopashama is even when prapancha activity is there then itself you recognize that is the that even then so the, because there is nothing other than brahma so the upashama means what when you like we have said when you recognize water as h2o the waves are already h2o you don't even see waves there there is a upashama of the wave jnanam wave vritti in your jnanam of water you, you see there is no nothing more called a wave all that is there is only h2o that's it that similarly here prapancho pashamaha means the whole prapancha is seen recognized as this vastu so even when the wave is there it is still seen as only h2o similarly even when there is transaction in the world it's only brahman therefore the upashama is only that much it's not for you to stop the samsara there is no stopping needed mano nasha all that is a because you want to know i am my mind is not stopping it is already so it is going here and there this and that therefore samsara is there samsara mind going here and there is not the reason for samsara the samsara is centered on i the i related notions is the problem it is not the mind activity yeah i mean if you want to control mind is a separate thing right nobody is saying that you don't have to do it but it needn't be confused with the atma gnana prashna okay tasyo pashamaha abhavaha yasminne upashamaha ke kasya abhavaha dvaita veda abhavaha dvaita veda vistar abhavaha yasmin atmani tadeva prapancho pashamaha sa atma prapancho pashamaha ataha eva advayaha vigata doshaihi eva panditaihi vedantartha tatraihi sanyasibihi So, Bhashikara says, Vedantartha Tatparahi is Sanyasi. Because your Tatparatvam, if it is only on Atma Vastu, the Vedanta Jnana, then that means you are, you, are given, you are taking up, so you can generally take up that lifestyle. Right? Because it helps you to focus on it. Right? Because you have no other pursuit. You are not worried about tomorrow. that is a sanyasi means is like under the sky right so the person's only commitment is to gain this jnana that's it everything else is seen as of no value right therefore vedantartha tatparehi uses the term sanyasi bihi okay or you can say mentally given up right for people who are in grihastha way of life you can take sanyasi as jnana karma sanyasa jnanena karma sanyasa so ishra arpana buddhi a person has given up and even though he is in thick of action nakinchit karoti sahayati var bhagavad gita says that is another sanyasi okay either way whether you physically give up and take an orange robe or not mentally you give up other pursuits is a sanyasi यार वेदांतार्थ तत्परी अयमात्मा द्रष्टु शक्य लिटिल ट्रिकी यूसेज रईट द्रष्टु शक्य इफ यू कैन बी सीन यू हलरे सैड बै द पीपल हू अवगत वेदात तत्व आल दट वेदात तत्पर अयम आत्मा द्रष्टु शक्य वेदातार्थ तत्पर इज ओके उपलब्ध वेदातार्थ तत्पर प्रपंचोपशम प्रपंच द्वैत भेद विस्तार तस्पशम भाव यस्म आत्मा प्रपंचोपशम विगत दोषि पंडित ओके सो फॉर दीज पीपल आत्मा कैन बी सीन ओके बट Already we have said avagata vedanta artha tattva gnihi jnani vihi. So you can take it's a apadata gnana almost like a gnani because they have understood reasonably 
and then through again more shravana manana the people gain they are it is possible for them to gain that's how we can take because otherwise bashegara veda paragihi has used uh, avagata vedanta artha tattva gnihi okay ayam atma drashtum shakya the vedanta artha thing if it has resulted already in jnanam then they are already jnani they are almost there they still don't have aparoksha jnana for those people eventually they will gain the jnana also is how we can take na anyehi ragaadi kalushita cheto bihi swapakshavati darshanaihi tarkikaadi bihi iti abhipraya for other people who are colored in their mind through different emotions and commitments for them it is difficult to gain or impossible to gain at the point we'll see this last line in the next class om pur namada pur namidam pur nat pur namadachade pur nasya pur namadaya pur nameva vasishyate om shanti 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 hari om sri guru bhyo namaha hari om dhanyavaad dhanyavaad guruji